Welcome to Lecture Online. Now we're going to do a few videos on how to compare the radical form to the exponential form and how to go back and forth between the two. If something is written in an exponential form, we should be able to write it in a radical form. And if something is written in a radical form, we should be able to express it or write it in terms of an exponential form. And in simple terms, if we have the variable x, we can write it like this. We can say the cube root of x squared, which can also be written as x to the two-thirds power. That means exactly the same thing, which means in the exponent, the number in the denominator represents the root, and the number in the numerator represents the exponent. So in general terms, without using numbers, we can say that this is the nth root of x to the m power. m becomes the numerator because that's the power, and n is the root which goes to the denominator. So if I have an, a problem like this, and they ask you to write it in exponential form, then you need to know how to convert it exactly according to that rule. Now when you look at this, you can imagine that this here inside the radical is written to the first power. Even though it wasn't there, even though that wasn't part of it, you can imagine it to be like that. So let's write it separately like this. We can say this is the fourth root of the quantity x squared plus 16. In essence, it's to the first power even though it's not written. Which means that once you think of it that way, you can write it in an exponential form. This then becomes the quantity x squared plus 16 raised to the one-fourth power. Remember, the, the number in the numerator is the power, and the number in the denominator is the root. So it's the fourth root of this quantity to the first power. And that's how you write this, which is in radical form, into this format, which is the exponential form. And that's how it's done.